Okay, today we're going to discuss the Acadia heat pumps. We're going to talk about the boards and the sensors, the sensor locations, and the difference uh, between the new style boards and the old style boards. Okay, so first, uh, here is the new style circuit board. It's got the alphanumeric display at the top, and it's got the three little plug-ins for the three sensors. Okay, these are the little sensors right here. Uh, they're about half the size of the original ones. Uh, the interstage temperature sensor, the coil temperature sensor, and the outdoor temperature sensor. Here's the original three. Here's the interstage temperature, the, uh, uh, the outdoor temperature sensor, and the coil temperature sensor back there. Okay, so here is the older circuit board. This one uh, just has little LEDs and it just blinks error codes when there's errors uh, or little LEDs light up to tell you if it's in cooling and heating and whatnot. Okay, at the top right, uh, here's where all of the sensors tie in. You can simply wiggle this entire Molex plug right off. Uh, there's little flathead screws. You can unscrew each individual wire if you want to take them off to test them or remove them or what have you. So now we're going to follow where each of these wires go. We start with the white wire. Uh, the white wire is the outdoor temperature sensor. It goes right along in the back here behind all of the, uh, uh, in, the in the back corner in that little wiring bundle. comes up along the side here and goes right out of the left side of the unit right there. Okay, And that is located right here. Uh, to get to it you just simply take off the uh, the two screws there and you'll be able to pull the sensor uh, screw right off and you'll be able to get to it pretty easily. Okay that one's simple to get to. Next one is the blue wire. That's the CTS, the coil temperature sensor. Okay and the coil temperature sensor again comes down along that bundle, goes down through this hole here. Once it gets down through this hole it will go up and along the top in the back. Let's try to get a little more light on this. Okay, it will go up and along in the back and it's going to come all the way down on the left hand side. Okay, you can see that blue wire right back there. It goes into that little insulated bundle right there. It's got a couple little zip ties on it. However it's insulated, you just uh, pull that sensor right off of that tube down there. Okay, and clip off a couple of these zip ties and you can pull the thing all the way back pretty easily. The last one is the interstage temperature sensor. That's the yellow one. That's much harder to get to. Uh, that one again comes down this little bundle, goes down through the hole here, goes straight into the back right in between the two sensor, uh, uh, two compressors. Okay, and I'm going to stick the camera right up inside here and see if we can get a good look at that sensor in the back. Okay, so it's up and to the right of the compressor. Okay, and if you look, you see a little yellow wire going into another black uh, insulated sleeve back there. Okay, that is the interstage temperature sensor. Okay, so regardless of what style of sensors you have, whether it's the new one or the old one, they're going to go to the same places. Okay, at least they should. Uh, for the old style board, the old style board is going to have the uh, the error codes right on on the panel. So when you take the door off of the unit, okay, you're going to see this cover for the electronics. You're going to take out the two screws, pop the thing open, and when you do, you're going to see this inside. It's got a wiring diagram, and then here are all of the error codes. Okay, it's going to tell you. For so many flashes, it's uh, it's this for an error. Okay, so that's how you actually spot the error codes. Uh, the error codes for the new boards, uh, they may have the error code uh, stuck onto the panel. They may not. I'm not sure. Um, so that is how to determine which board is which, uh, which sensors are for which style board and where they're located.